Welcome to Group CRC Excel. We will see now sort and subtotals. To use this type of functions in Excel, you absolutely need a database. We have an example database here, as you can see, it's a pretty large one. We have the month, we have, for example, sales, actual, budget, the province, the customer, and the type of customer, personal or corporate. So, for example, we need to manipulate this database and we start in the next tab to sort by month. So we need to see the data by month. So what we have to do is select all and then you go to the menu and say sort and filter and you press custom sort. Sort by month, sort by month. It's important that this has to be clicked otherwise you won't see the titles here you will see column A, B, C it will include the first so we select here and we sort by month sort on values and all this to newest we say OK and it's done the next we're gonna sort by customer same thing we select con control and control shift you can select very quickly so you select the whole database again custom sort but this time this time we're gonna sort by customer you say okay and it's done as you can see ABC the order of the database now is by customer now we're gonna complicate a little bit more and we need to sort first by province then by customer and then by month how we do that again we start selecting the complete database we go to the same place custom sort and we start province order A to Z now we can add a level it's gonna sort first by province then we add a level by customer and then we can add another level by month we say ok and look what happens it starts with the province British Columbia Ontario Quebec then by customer so in British Columbia, we have the customer ABC, Ian Smith, Gerson, etc. And for each one, you have the month January, February, March, April, May, June, July, etc. So you can sort in many ways and you can combine. Now, when you sort, you can also add subtotals because we have sales here actual and budget so we're gonna do the exercise in the next sold by province and add a subtotal again the first thing we have to do is select all we say custom sort by province we say okay now it's sorted by province now with the database selected we can go to data and subtotal now in the, this window you can see that for each change in and here you can select what's the criteria for your subtotal in this case is province so every time the province changes it will add a subtotal use function we don't want count we want sum you can apply count average max mean product in this case we need a sum and we don't need to sum the type we need to sum the actual and the budget because 
there are our numbers we say okay and it's done if you go down you will see the subtotals that were inserted after each province Ontario total actual budget and so on and so forth now you can have a summary just pressing the buttons here let's say if you press 1 you will see the grand total if you press 2 you will see by province and if you press 3 you will see all the details now let's go to the last exercise we're gonna sort by province then we're gonna sort by customer type and we're gonna add subtotals for both so let's do that first we select the database we say custom sort we sort by province we add level then we sort by type we say ok and now without selecting the database we say data subtotal and for province first we use sum to actual and budget we say ok so far is the same as we did before but now we're gonna add another subtotal by type so you select everything go again data again subtotal and this time you have to unclick replace current subtotals otherwise the subtotal that is actually there it will be taken out so you take out this and then you do your subtotal in this case it will be by type for each change in type use function sum and actually budget you say ok and there you go now you have four levels let's see the first level is the grand total the second level is by province the third level is by province and by type customer type as you can see here and the fourth level will be all the details So this is how you use sort combined with subtotals. If you need to practice, uh, you can buy this module at groupcrc.com or if you have any questions or comments, you can send us an email to service at groupcrc.com. Thank you for watching.